Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now ARM has announced a whole bunch of new CPU designs and a new GPU and in this video I want to give you an overview as quick as I possibly can of everything that they have announced. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so this is ARM's Total Compute Solutions for 2023. All of ARM's new CPUs and GPUs as quick as possible. So first off, we have the TCS Total Compute Solutions for 2023. We can see the other ones here, 2021, 2022. And this means it's a Cortex-X4, that's the performance core, Cortex-A720, that's the workload core, and Cortex-A520, that's the power efficiency core. And they're all using ARM V9.2 and they're all 64-bit, no 32-bit compatibility here here whatsoever that's absolutely fine i've got a video here called uh, 32 bits is dead you should watch that out if you want to know more about what that really means okay moving on so we have the cortex x4 15 percent more performance compared to a smartphone made this year and that's running with a slightly higher clock speed as well uh, it also supports two megabytes of l2 cache that's something new for the x4 and that 15 percent performance is including that two megabytes of her core L2 cache and as I said ARM V9.2. If we go down to the A720 this is the new workload core and it, the interesting thing is here is that you can configure the core to have exactly the same area as a Cortex A78 so you get all of the benefits of ARM V9.2 and a 10% performance increase of course even more performance increase when you max out the caches and all that kind of stuff and then finally the Cortex A520 better performance lower power so more to the right here means performance so 8% higher performance or if you want the same performance as the Cortex A510 you need 22% less power okay then this is all glued together using the dynamic shared unit the dsu this new one can support up to 14 cores obviously it's not something we'll see in a smartphone but maybe something we'd see in a laptop and up to 32 megabytes of l3 cache and of course the new uh, dsu also supports all of the relevant arm v 9.2 uh, architecture things then so as a summary we've got the cortex x4 15 percent more performance the cortex a720 20 percent more power efficiency for sustained performance and faster gameplay and then we've got the cortex a520 uh, with 22 percent more efficiency compared to the uh, Cortex A510. And all of this is with the DSU ARM V9.2, up to 14 cores and 32 megabytes of L3 cache. Moving now on to the GPU, we've got the new fifth generation of uh, ARM GPU architecture. So this is the Immortalis G720 and some smaller ones, which we'll talk about in a minute. System level efficiency up by 40%, we'll talk about more in a minute. And GPU efficiency average up by 15% and peak performance up by 15%. So ARM have done some real tests here with some actual real gains, Genshin Impact, Fortnite, even a bit of benchmarking. And as we can see that these use much less bandwidth, 41%, 37%, 33%, and so on. And less bandwidth means it goes out to main memory less, which means there's less power used to fetch that from RAM. And here we can see a comparison between the Immortalis G715 and the Immortalis G720, how much uh, the GPU is using less power and how those drag RAM axes, the, the dynamic RAM axes are using less because it's not using so much bandwidth. Less bandwidth means less power, which means greater power efficiency. And so when you summarize those up, we've got the Immortalis G720, which is 10 cores and more, and includes ray tracing. We've got the Mali G720, which is six to nine cores. Ray tracing would be possible, but probably won't be included because there's no point if you're using such fewer cores. And the Mali G625, cores or fewer overall up to 40 percent reduction in memory bandwidth to do that by the way they use technology called dvs deferred vertex shading and i cover all of that in my gpu deep dive video and an average of 15 percent more sustained performance or peak performance okay so there it was a quick overview of the new things that arm announced i hope you liked this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos hey why not stick around by subscribing to the channel okay that's it i'll see you in the next one